all of a sudden we hear some high heels clicking. In comes a fake drag queen version of Tyra. <laughs> I just wanted to come in and have a little chit chat with the girls. And it's Suton, the makeup artist. Every morning when I wake up, little woodland animals come to greet me. <laughs> I'm Tyra. Tyra. I'm Tyra. <laughs> Can't you tell? Look, I got the outfit on. I'm Tyra, honey. You know what? Tyra. <laughs> of you impersonating me. Am I Tyra? I'm Tyra. <laughs> Tyra. Thank you. I'm Tyra. I am Tyra. I am Tyra. I am Ty. Ty, Ty, baby. I'm Ty. You know what? I think the only way we're going to be able to settle this is to go to Ty. to the gorgeous, historic El Rey Theater. You guys know me as Sutan, typically. Hey. Look real urban. Cool. I'm my alter ego, Raja, today. We finally get to see Sutan as Raja, and he looked great. Sutan looked freaking phenomenal. It was so fun. We're gonna teach you a little bit about the fundamentals, the 101 on being sexy. <laughs> Now, if you're all ready, I'd like to introduce you to my very, very dear friend. She is a world-renowned burlesque entertainer. Please welcome to the stage the one and only Dita Von Teese. When he said Dita Von Teese, I'm like, there's, there's no way. That woman is so big right now. She's traveling the world. Ah! You ready for your lesson? Yeah. yeah. Well, the first thing I would say is you never want to look like you're trying too hard. In burlesque, using your hips a lot is really important. It can be really subtle, like just popping a little hip. You don't have to, like, you know, do this kind of thing. And also, like, using props. They're not your enemy, they're your friend. Having something with you on stage is, like, it's the best thing. So let's start with on <laughs> I don't want to go up there. I really don't want to dance. I'm not, I can't dance. What are you doing? Don't throw me up there. Take yourself to a place where sunflowers grow. And what would you be doing in a field of sunflowers alone or with your man? Lately, Anshul's been complaining about her weight and just really not confident at all in herself. What I would say about Anshul is she seemed like she was a little insecure. She could work on feeling a little more confident and comfortable about being sexy. You could have really utilized this more. You could do whatever you want. If you were in a photo shoot and you just suddenly laid down, that could have been the shot. I don't know what to think. I mean, I'm used to being a tomboy. I'm used to being, you know, athletic. It's just a weird feeling. All right. Melrose is over top. They said, be subtle, don't be stripper. She didn't do it right. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. Yeah, girl. She doesn't show a lot of emotion, but you can tell Eugenia's got that look in the body. There it is. Not bad. Good, Eugenia. Actually, I want to you see you do it. it. I've never seen you with pom poms. Like showing a foot off and like going up your leg. But you were really good. It is a lot harder for me to be sexy knowing that I have short hair. I always worked with my hair. Like, I'd get it in my face. I think Amanda did a great job. I think she had a really great combination of sexiness and sweetness. Good job. Of all the girls, I think that Carrie D could, you know, take it down a little bit. She had on a skirt, and she was up there with her legs spread apart. And I was like, girl, I can see your panties. I have to be seductive and sexy. And that's not something I normally am. I felt totally uncomfortable. What is that? It's a fan. You're hot. There you go. Brooke had a difficult time, and she seemed the most nervous of everyone to be sexy. You guys have a good time? Yeah! On your next shoot, perhaps, think about how sexy you can be. You have to walk out there like you mean it. You always have to feel like you are the best at what you're doing, and you have to do everything with confidence and not second guess yourself. One more time, please give it up to my friend Dita. Yeah. 